Hey everyone, I'm Pat Fitzmorris, Managing Editor of Betting Pros and Fantasy Pros, here to run through my favorite player props for the Super Bowl. This is the final player props video of the NFL season, so let's go out with a bang here and we'll get right to it. Just a reminder first that all lines are courtesy of DraftKings as of Thursday afternoon. So I'm going to start with Patrick Mahomes under 317.5 passing plus rushing yards. So Mahomes is facing a Philly defense that gave up an average of 207 passing yards per game during the regular season. Of course, Mahomes is no ordinary quarterback, but it's just very rare for anyone to torch the Eagles through the air. The only quarterback to have thrown for more than 300 yards against them this season was Dak Prescott who did light them up for 347 passing yards on Thanksgiving Day in Dallas. Uh, but the only other quarterback to throw for 250 or more yards against the Eagles this season was Kyler Murray of the Cardinals, who threw for exactly 250 yards. Mahomes averaged 308.8 passing yards per game during the regular season, but he has not faced a pass defense as good as Phillies this year, which is the best in the league according to Football Outsiders DVOA metric. We also know the Eagles had the best pass rush in the league. They had 70 sacks during the regular season, more than any team during the regular season since the 1984 Chicago Bears, the monsters of the midway. So this is a nasty pass defense that Patrick Mahomes is going to be up against. I don't think he's going to have a lot of time to sit in the pocket and look for his receivers deep downfield. And the reason I like the passing plus rushing yardage bet more than rushing is for Mahomes passing alone, his total is 294.5. Add the rushing, and for some reason on DraftKings, it uh, vaults up to 317.5. I'm not sure why it's 23 yards higher, considering that Patrick Mahomes is playing on a high ankle sprain. And, you know, if you're telling me the over under on his rushing yardage is 23, I am slamming the under on that. Uh, playing on a sprained ankle against the Bengals in the AFC Championship game, Mahomes ran three times for eight yards. And, you know, he's mobile, but he's just not a running quarterback. So, Patrick Mahomes under 317.5 passing plus rushing yards. Another chief, Isaiah Pacheco under, excuse me, over 48.5 rushing yards. Pacheco over 48.5 rushing yards. He has exceeded this number in nine of his last 11 games, has Pacheco averaging 68.5 rushing yards a game over that stretch. He's also had double-digit carries in nine of his last 11 games. The Eagles, as mentioned earlier, are number one against the pass, but in DVOA, they are just 21st against the run. Now, granted, they have been better lately. They were uh, burned at midseason quite a bit on the ground, but then in November, on consecutive days, they signed Ndamukong Su and Linval Joseph, uh, I believe they played their first games for the Eagles in week 11. And then two weeks after that, they got back their first round rookie, Jordan Davis, the massive 340 pound defensive tackle from Georgia. They got him back from a month long injury in week 13. And since week 13, they have been number eight in DVOA against the run. But nevertheless, it is easier to run against the Eagles than throw against them. And I think it makes sense for the Chiefs to come out with a balanced game plan to help protect Patrick Mahomes with that high ankle sprain against this fierce Philadelphia pass defense. So um, yeah, Andy Reid does not want the Eagles to pin their ears back and come after Patrick Mahomes out game. The, pet, the betting pros prop bet analyzer really likes this bet too. It projects uh, Pacheco to have 58.4 rushing yards, which is almost exactly 10 yards over his total. And it gives this bet a 61% of hitting Isaiah Pacheco over 48 and a half rushing yards. I will get to the rest of my favorite prop bets for the Super Bowl in just a minute. But first, subscribe to the Betting Pros YouTube channel and comment below on this video. Because when you do, you could win a free upgrade to Betting Pros Premium, whether you're looking for access to exclusive picks or 
top rated player props or custom analysis or uh, custom analysis of your own betting performance, Betting Pros Premium has the tools to help you cash more bets. Plain and simple. Don't want to wait for the giveaway? Sign up today at bettingpros.com slash upgrade and start betting smarter, not harder. All right, back to the player props. Kadarius Tony under 26.5 receiving yards. Tony sprained an ankle against the Bengals in the AFC Championship game. Missed some practice time last week, but he says he's going to play. He's back at practice. Still, Tony has really only been a part-time player for the Chiefs since joining them. Uh, since he's He's around in Kansas City. He has played more than 20 snaps only one time in nine games. So 20 snaps or fewer in eight of his nine games with the Chiefs. And he has only exceeded 26.5 receiving yards in three of those nine games. So Tony is going to be facing an Eagles defense that has allowed the fourth fewest receiving yards to wide receivers during the regular season. And uh, the Chiefs corners are excellent or the Eagles corners are excellent, excuse me, Darius Slay, uh, James Bradbury, Avante Maddox in the slot. It's possible, too, that Tony re-aggravates the ankle injury, or maybe they just limit his snaps even more than usual because of it. I think uh, Tony under 26.5 receiving yards is the way to go here. Kenneth Gainwell, over 11.5 receiving yards. Gainwell has caught at least one pass in nine consecutive games. He's had more than one catch in five of those nine games and in four of his last six. Gainwell was targeted three times and had two catches for 26 yards against the 49ers in the NFC Championship game. And as noted by my colleague Derek Brown, the Chiefs gave up a lot of receiving yards to running backs during the regular season. They allowed the fourth most receiving yards to RBs during the regular season and also the most receptions. So I like Kenneth Gainwell over 11.5 receiving yards. I also like Noah Gray, the Chiefs number two tight end over 12 and a half receiving yards. Uh, I had bet Gray to finish with more than 11 and a half receiving yards in the AFC championship game. That didn't pan out. He had one catch for four yards, but I'm jumping right back on that train. Gray has topped 12 and a half receiving yards in two of his last three games and nine of his last 12. And Chiefs running, or Chiefs wide receivers, Juju Smith Schuster and the aforementioned Kadarius Tony, both a little banged up for this game after leaving the AFC Championship game and not practicing last week. So, uh, and let's face it, the, the Chiefs wide receivers just aren't very good as a collective group. So, Kansas City's tight ends figure to be heavily involved. I know that mostly means Kelsey, but I think they're going to sprinkle in a little bit of Noah Gray too. So our betting pros content director, Matthew Friedman, projects Gray for 15.8 receiving yards in his Super Bowl player projections article, which you can find on bettingpros.com. I like Noah Gray over 12 and a half receiving yards. And since this is the final player props video of the year, I'm going to throw in one bonus player prop for you but here's a ca the catch to this is that it's not an nfl player this is a super bowl cross sports special posted on DraftKings that i like i'm going to bet that the number of points scored in the first half of the super bowl will exceed the number of points scored by pascal siakam of the toronto raptors against the detroit pistons on sunday afternoon and i have this bet at plus 120 with the total for the Super Bowl set at 51 points on DraftKings, half of that is 25.5 uh, points. So the implied total for the first half of the Super Bowl, 25.5 points. Pascal Siakam is averaging 24.7 points per game, and he's had 24 points or fewer in 11 of his last 14. Granted, the matchup seems like a good one for Siakam, the Pistons are patsies. They are 14 and 42 on the season, and they are giving up 119.7 points per game, the second most in the NBA. But this could also work in favor of us if the 
Raptors are blowing the Pistons doors off on Sunday afternoon and just decide to sit Siakam in the fourth quarter. So I like the first half total of the Super Bowl versus uh, Pascal Siakam's point total on Sunday. And again, you can get plus 120 on that bet. So just to recap, my favorite props, player props for the Super Bowl are Patrick Mahomes under 317.5 passing plus rushing yards. Isaiah Pacheco, over 48.5 rushing yards. Uh, Kadarius Toney, under 26.5 receiving yards. Kenneth Gainwell, over 11.5 receiving yards. Noah Gray, over 12.5 receiving yards. And the first half total of Super the Super Bowl, um, outpacing Pascal Siakam, uh, yeah, so grab that one on DraftKings, plus 120. That is a novelty prop that I really like. So good luck to all of you. Eat a lot of guacamole and chicken wings. Enjoy the Super Bowl. We'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.